All right, hey guys, uh, welcome to the next episode. So what we're doing right now um, is the center part of the vaulted roof is being framed. We'll go up there a little bit later and show that. What I'm working on right now is uh, we are making, I'm doing footing on the combs for the front porch. So um, you can see these posts here are ones that I fluted. They're six by six Douglas fir. And uh, basically all I'm doing is I built a router jig. Basically just indexes. And I'm using a bull nose sort of router bit. And basically all I'm doing is running up and down each side and then I index my jig. And then I'll do, I'll run up one side and then I'll run up the other and then I'll index my jig in one and I'll do the same thing on both sides. Um, so the way we're doing the front porch is we're gonna have fluting on the columns and then we're gonna be also kind of going for a Victorian style, older style front porch. So what that means is, uh, well, I have the fluting on the columns. I'm gonna have trim on the bottom that I'm gonna make. And then we'll also have some sort of trim on the top. So you can see there's uh, side steps and front steps. So we'll kind of walk up here. The roof is being framed out, or the, uh, well, the roof and the porch is being framed out right now. So uh, it's a pretty big porch. These uh, ceilings are gonna be 10 feet tall and it's gonna be a flat ceiling. Um, so I'll talk about the porch real quick. So, <clears throat> what we did on the porch was I created, uh, we bought six by six posts. I made a router jig and I fluted all these columns. So these columns are all fluted all the way down. And you can see on, well, that's not a good example. Let's start with this one. You can see on the inside, the fluting goes all the way up to the top. And on the sides, the fluting goes up, not to the top. That's because all the porches on this on the ends here they're gonna have corbels so right now i'm in the process of making all those corbels we'll put a clip of me doing that in this video um, but what i'm doing right now is i'm making all the corbels um, i have 12 to make for the front porch and then we're also going to be doing some sort of fancy uh victorian look across the top so i, I don't need to i'll talk about that when i end up doing it it's hard to explain but anyway, we're, we're kind of going for like an ornate uh, Victorian-ish kind of porch. Um, yeah, then it's framed out right now. These are all just two by eights. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna have actually a flat ceiling. So we're gonna have more two by eights that come through and the whole ceiling is gonna be tongue groove. We'll probably have that in the next episode. That's gonna be finished this week at some point. And then we're also doing a soffit, which is all tongue and groove as well. So that's what's been done on the porch. We can see the front steps. I chose to do this sort of wraparound thing. These are kind of like wraparound steps. They're an 18 inch deep step. They're kind of big grand steps. Um, it just looks cool when you're walking up to the house. The whole house is symmetrical. Columns are symmetrical. And then the stairs are now symmetrical and it kind of all just points to the front door. Um, so it's got a cool thing. It's all very symmetrical and I don't know, the simplicity of it I think is really nice. Um, so we'll walk inside. So last episode, we, when we were walking through the house, we had the, the interior walls were framed out and then the attic trusses above the bedrooms were framed out, but the vaulted ceiling was just a big empty space because we were waiting for the timbers. So we walk inside. So, uh, we're standing in the house right now. As you can see, every, all the ceiling has been framed out. Um, so the nice thing is, is that we have attic, lots of attic space in the bedrooms. The bedrooms have flat ceilings. Lots of attic space up there. We'll put our furnace and everything for the HVAC. 
um, as well as our on-demand hot water heater, and then all the, lots of storage. So you can see here, like there's these big openings that are, well, you can't really see, but there's all this temporary structure in place. But there's gonna be a door actually framed up there on top of that, you know, where the gable is. Um, that's gonna be like a pretty big, it's a pretty big door. It's like 69 inches or so. It's an old door from the 1700s. And we're gonna put one over here as well. So I have like a full walk-in space to get into the attic space. You know, full walk-in, um, full-size door to get into the attic space. So um, I'll talk about the roof, how it was framed, and I'll, I'll get up there on the ladder and I'll talk about it again. So if you can see right now, the areas above the bedroom are straight framed, two by eights. And then in the middle here, this vaulted ceiling is timber framed. So these are uh, four by eight Douglas fir beams. And then they read up there at that um, uh, 16 inch glue lamb that spans the whole 27 and a half feet or so. And then on the back side of that, we put tongue groove. So we framed the Douglas fir beams, those sat in there, and then put tongue groove on the back side. And if you can imagine, behind the tongue groove, I got up there and I ran on my electrical. So that's just my electrical for the vaulted ceiling. So all these wires that are hanging down, these are gonna be lights and fans and that sort of thing. Okay, so we're standing up on the roof right now and I'll talk about this vaulted ceiling real fast. So if you can see here, that's a stack of three two by, or uh, actually where my foot is there, you can see there's three two by sixes that are stacked. This is an attic truss, so I'm kind of standing above where the attic was framed out and it's sitting on top of uh, three two by eights. That's the top plate. Then this, let's see if we can look under here. So behind this is a four by eight Douglas beam and you can see that it's sitting, you can't really see it, but it's sitting on one two by six. So these, th these attic trusses are sitting to the depth, the thickness of two two by eights higher than where the interior or where the uh, Douglas fir beams were framed out. This, uh, well, this is the last attic uh, rafter. And then after this, on the back side, that Douglas fir beam is sitting about this high. So there's all this space. So the, the vaulted ceiling was framed lower than this uh, attic, than the attic trusses. The reason why is because that attic, that attic truss was framed down here. I ran my electrical. And then, well, you know, we put the tongue groove on, then I ran my electrical. And then on top of that, we put a two by four. So you can see these here, two by fours, the, the two by four roof was framed on top of that. And once the two by four roof was framed on top of that, it brought up the level. So now this two by eight from the attic truss and this two by four are at the same level. And what that did is it, uh, it gave us room to run our electrical as well as put foam in insulation. So this decking now is sitting on top of this foam. We've only foamed the, the middle part so far, but you know, we had to foam it because once we put the decking on, there's no way to get into that space. So anyway, that's how the, um, that's the idea for the vaulted ceiling. Um, this part right now isn't framed out because actually you can see this is where the, the porch roof comes up and it kind of, you know, breaks and goes out that way. So this foam here will be covered, but it'll actually be all boxed in. So that's kind of what's going on right now. I'll mention one more thing as I'm getting down because the next time when this, uh, uh, when the porch is all framed in, it will pop, you won't be able to see any of this. But you know, that top plate is sitting on this top of the stone here. And then this is another two by six that's going running along here. <coughs> Sorry, two by eight. And what's gonna happen is that two by eight or two by, or sorry, four by eight Douglas fir beam that's spanning the porch right there, that's gonna have more two by eights to come out, come in and nail into here. So you can see that um, that's gonna make the top of the ceiling flat on the porch roof. And then on top of that, we're gonna put, um, or on the bottom side, we'll put tongue groove.